Hello everyone, my name is Christian Niculescu and you know me for a lot of integration with, uh, of software with UiPath, Salesforce, ServiceNow, Shira, Confluence and so on. We did also a lot of movies where I show you how to start a robot from ServiceNow, from uh, Salesforce, from NetSuite, from Postman and so on. Yeah, but all the demonstration that I, uh, I create for starting the robot until now, I created with cloud platform, yeah? With uh, orchestrator on the cloud. And I had a lot of requests from your side that say that you have the orchestrator on premise, yeah? And you want to know on Power Automate and all the software to, to know how you started on premise. So today we'll talk about this. You know, I have an orchestrator on, on premise and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how we start uh, the robot. Good. So. Let's see the difference. When I do it on the cloud, first to be able to authenticate, I just uh, say account uap.com or token. Then I put these headers with the tenant name, so the content with the JSON, and I put the tenant name here. And the body will be grant type refresh token. The client ID that I show you how you extract on the, on the cloud and the refresh token that I extracted again on the cloud. When I start the process, you have to provide here the account uh, the logical name and the tenant logical name. Yep. And this I did it on, on all the movies. Here, when on the header of this one, you need to provide the, uh, the tenant again, like the first one. Now, if we are on prem, yeah, for example, my orchestrator is something like this, yeah. Uh, S -tab LB uh, desktop local uh, discover uh, local, yeah. So, to be able to authenticate, I will go like this, yeah. I will go HTTP my address, your address, API account authentication, yeah. Then I need to put the content to be application JSON, and then I need to put tenancy name, which will be tenant, my tenant, username or email, which will be my in my case is admin and the password yeah and this will give me a result and we'll pass this result and we'll use this result as authorization yeah and here when when you start the process you will have again your address data so without any tenant but on the on the headers you need to put application json and you need to put tenant and you need to put organization ID unit. So these are the difference. I find this difference and uh, it's very nice uh, presented on the site, post menu iPad rocks. So very well um, described with all the details and so on, yeah? Now, let's do the, the stuff. So I have my, um, uh, my local orchestrator. You see it's set up this cover local. It's not, it's not something on the cloud. I have the two processes, um, MSG param and MSGS, as usual on all the videos that I create. And then we'll, we'll start it from the, uh, from the Postman, yeah? But before I start it from the Postman, I want to, uh, to tell you something. Because normally when you are connected to, to your local system, probably you have a VPN or something like this, you know, on the web page, he will ask you for certification and so on. Postman, in the same way, he will say that um, the system will not work. So you have to go to settings and you say SSL certification verification off. By default, this is on. So be sure that this is off to be able for you to, uh, um, to send the comments without having the problem with the certificate. Okay? Good. So. As I said, first I want to get my fresh token. So I will have the body with the tenancy, username, and password. For headers, I have nothing. And I have my link, API account authenticate. I send a command and I will get a huge here is on the result. So this is my authentication key. Let's use this authentication key. Next comment. Remember, we want to get the name of the processes, yeah, the, the idea of the process. We already have this idea of the processes, but I will put here the, the, the token and I will send a command like this, and this will return me the ID of the um, MSG, 
And if I put here param, I will get the release key of the image bar. But I already have this, uh, this one. I did it, yeah. Now, I want to start a job. And I will start a simple job. I have the release key, I have all. I have on the headers, tenant, which my tenant is default, an organization name for uh, ID, it's one, yeah. On the authorization, I will put the new authorization key, control V, okay. And I will send a message. You are not audited. I say that means I don't copy the right, uh, uh, the right key, yeah. Control A, Control B. Yeah, we'll see now. So I send a comment and um, uh, let's see on the server. So on the server, I have MSGS a few seconds ago. And you can see that the robot was starting from the orchestrator. Yeah? And let's start also the robot with parameters. Here again, content. I have the tenant, I have the organization ID one on the body. Here, I have the release key, and let's say that is live on. Um, yep, to be exact, this one. This do uh, like this to be sure that is new. Let's let me copy the authorization to, to be sure that is the last one, and we'll send the message. So on the authorization, I will have the last authorization, control, control V, and we'll send a message. And you see that I have a response back. And if we go to the server, we go to jobs, you see that this one is created one um, uh, few seconds ago. And here I have parameters with test YouTube, TDT, and video live 1812. Yeah, so that's the idea how you start the process and uh, from the orchestrator that's on-prem. And remember this site, Post Menu App Adrocks, you have everything there. I will put also this on the link, on the link of my uh, video. And also a new, a new stuff, I move all the code for all the starting of ServiceNow, Grovy, Salesforce, and so on. I put it on the... Uh, um, uh, on GitHub in stack, uh, or in st instead of Stack Overflow, yeah? So you have here all the code that you need for all the scripts. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any other questions, please ping me on the um, YouTube, LinkedIn, or other places where you find me, and I will answer to your um, uh, questions. Thank you very much for watching, and stay safe, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye, have a good one.